All right. So how, how are colleges making these, these decisions? So the first thing a college needs to do when they're thinking about awarding financial aid to a, to a student is they need to come up with, well, what, what is the cost of attendance? What is it going to cost a student to attend this college for a year? And so they come up with a full cost of attendance, which includes tuition and fees, food and housing, books and supplies, transportation, and personal expenses. Now, you'll note that some of these are billed expenses and some of these are non-billed, but they're all expenses that a student will need that much money to attend for the year. So the college comes up with that cost of attendance each year. And then from the forms that you complete, the FAFSA and the CSS profile if necessary, um, your financials will be put through a formula and it's a standard formula. Uh, the federal formula is the same used for every family. Um, and if it's if the colleges are using an institutional formula, it might be their own formula, but it's it's the same for every family. And a number pops out at the at the bottom called the student aid index. Um, and so then that is a, a rough estimate of an amount that it's determined that your family can contribute to the college costs. Uh, before financial aid is awarded. So really then the equation is cost of attendance minus your family's student aid index number. And the difference is your financial aid eligibility. So that's the amount that the colleges then work to create an award that either meets your financial aid eligibility or tries to meet a good portion of your financial aid eligibility. Um, some colleges, those that have more resources might be able to meet your full financial aid eligibility and you can get away with just paying your student aid index number, but many colleges can't do that. And so they try to build you an award that meets a lot of it, but may not meet all of it. So at this point, this is where I get to do some acting. I get to pretend that I'm a financial aid administrator. I once was. Um, and I am going to make an award for this student based on a few things. My college cost has a cost of attendance of $45,000. And I, your family's student aid index is $5,000. So how would I make an award for this student? Well, first I would say, okay, the student needs $45,000 to attend my college for the year and the family's SAI is 5,000. I'm gonna put that first. I'm gonna take the family's supposed money at first. And then I'm gonna award a grant, a need-based grant of 17,500 and a $10,000 scholarship because your student has uh, a straight A average in high school. And then I'm gonna award st a student loan of $5,500, which is the freshman maximum, and a work study allotment of $2,000, allowing the student to work on campus during the year and be able to earn money to pay for some of those miscellaneous book transportation expenses. And then that's all my college can do. Um, you know, we, we're not uh, a college that can meet the full need because we don't have endless resources. So, you know, we, we're still able to award a grant and a scholarship, but there's some unmet need there. So then as a family, for your son or daughter to attend this college, um, you would need to come up with the $5,000 of your student aid index money and $5,000 of unmet need to make sure that your student had everything they needed to be in attendance at this college. So one, one way you can sort of play with this before your student um, is accepted and receives financial aid offers, just to get, get a sense of what type of financial aid offers you might receive is there, there are tools called net price calculators and they're on every college website. Some are better than others, just the truth is, um, but it's a good tool. And you can go in 
and you can fill these out as you will a financial aid form eventually. And it will give you a personal estimated net college price, meaning it will say to you, here's an estimate of what your SAI is and what type of aid you might be able to receive um, if, you're, if your student comes here. Uh, and, and that net price calculator might, it asks financial questions, but it may also ask academic questions. You know, what is your student's GPA? What is your student's SAT score? Um, and that way some merit aid might also be included in that. I tend to advise to not use these calculators as a, a, a set in stone. Uh, for example, I probably would advise not to say to a student, don't apply to that college because we did the net price calculator and you didn't get any financial aid. But um, you could possibly say, I did the net price calculator. It looks like we're not going to get a lot of aid at this college. Maybe get a few other colleges on your list um, to make sure that you have many options and choices in the spring, something like that. And one thing that's confusing about this financial aid process, as if what I've talked about so far isn't, um, is that when you receive your financial aid offers, they can vary greatly from college to college. So here's an example of what you may encounter. Um, so here are three colleges, colleges A, B, and C. And just for the purposes of an example, they all cost $45,000. And we already told you your SAI in this example is $5,000. So as a family, your aid eligibility for A, B, and C would be $40,000. And yet this is what you might receive when you receive these offers. College A might be one of those colleges that meets full need. And if they are, they'll probably tell you that on their website as well. So College A has given a very nice grant of $32,500, student loan, work study, totaling $40,000. So they have really met your financial need. College B, on the other hand, um, they've still given a great scholarship, uh, $25,500, the student loan, the work study, but the aid only totals 33,000. So there is some unmet need there. So again, that's a college where you'd need to come up with about $12,000 to allow your student to attend. And then college C, you know, doesn't have as many resources and has awarded a scholarship of 17,500, the, the loan, the work study for a total of $25,000 in aid, leaving an unmet need of $15,000. So that would really leave you a bill of about $20,000 to come up with each year. And, um, you know, sometimes this is where need and merit both come into the, the picture, where it might be that at College C, depending on um, where your student falls in the admissions pool, are they at the top of the admissions pool, in the middle of the admissions pool, lower in the admissions pool, that the, this grant and scholarship might vary a little bit. So, you know, the need-based aid is awarded, but you sometimes your student could get a boost if they were in the top of the admissions pool. So that factors in here sometimes too. Um, but this is what you will see. And so this is when it becomes really important to compare apples to apples, see what you would need to come up with as a family once financial aid is awarded. And MIFA does have a calculator to help you do this called the College Cost Calculator on our website. And this slide is pretty much my least favorite, but we continue to show this because it's really important information. So here's another view at three award letters that could come from colleges A, B, and C. And if you quickly look at the aid total, you would say, oh, these three colleges all gave the same amount of aid, $35,000, but they didn't. So look more closely and you'll see that college C gave no grant scholarship and no work study. And look at this. What's this? Colleges B and C put something called a parent loan in there. And I'm going to just say it right out. I don't like when colleges do this because any 
parent loan is going to require a credit check and it's a decision for the family if you want to take a parent loan. You may end up taking a parent loan to pay and figure out how you're going to pay that unmet need and your SAI. But this is not financial aid. This is, um, you know, it's just, it's showing you what some options are to pay, but it's not comparing apples to apples. So be aware and you would want to take that out when you were comparing apples to apples to see what you're really going to owe at these three colleges and have a good sense of the affordability of each and how much you're going to need to come up to up with to pay. Um, and then, you know, when you have the bill, you'll know you might need to take a parent loan, but that's your decision and shouldn't be part of the award, but we still see it. And so we want to warn you about that.